All right, brothers and sisters, top of the morning. Good morning to each and every one of you. First and foremost, we want to give a major shout out to the Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. He's the Lord of my life. Shout out to YouTube, as always, for another opportunity to share on this Chris Pratt Fridays. All right. Shout out to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, each and every one of you, as always, that take time to watch the videos and the shorts. I appreciate, 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 and forever am grateful to you. Why? And because of you, this is able to happen, right? As I'm working on other things, uh, trying to do big things, but always grateful for everything. To me, no thing is small. I'm the type of guy, you know, I'm not rich yet financially, but I'm the type of guy, I see a penny on the ground, I pick it up. All, uh, all pennies count, all dollars count, you know, it all it all adds up at the end of the day. Um, I'm going to address on another video the State of Union speech by President uh, Joe Biden. You know, another video I'll touch on that. But also I want to shout out to my man Bible E as always on that one and two for sending that daily word. Matthew 6 verse 11. Give us this day our daily bread. So with that being said, let's go forward. Now this one, this is the clincher right here. I'm not going to lie to y'all. This is the clincher. This is what it all boils down to. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. It's one thing to know about the will of God, but the challenge is doing it. Like yesterday, we, we got the, a word sent from Bible. E. Don't, be, don't merely listen to the word and deceive yourself. Do what it says. Don't just read about God's word in the Bible. Carry it out in your life. Walk in the word. So the challenge for me and you, not just for today, but as always, to be doers of the word and not just hearers. He already says it. I think this is the most scariest thing Jesus is going to say. You know how a lot of people, the celebrities, and, and no disrespect to none of them. Shout out to all of them. All, you know, celebrities and people, oh man, praise Jesus, praise God and everything. And this is for God and everything. But the scariest thing that the Jesus is going to say to you and I, right? If we don't do his will, he's going to say, I never knew you. He said, I never knew you. And there's a lot of people that's going to stand before the father. and like, Lord, I did this. I did that. I did that. You know, he's going to say, Lord, I perform many miracles. I, I, I baptized people. I cast out demons. I did all these things in your name. And then he's going to say, I never knew you. And why would he say that, right? Because me and you didn't do his will. And we know his will. He calls us to be holy. He calls us to forgive. He calls us to love one another. He calls us to give to the poor. Help our fellow neighbor. He calls us to do these things. You know? People think, I'll say this in closing, people think the Old Testament is hard. Jesus made it much harder with the New Testament. Because he's challenging us to be obedient to him now with our minds. And the hardest thing to control and to deal with and to make obedient to the Father, you know, Outside of our physical obedience is the mental obedience. So, brothers and sisters, let's just focus on being doers of the word. First, mentally in the heart, then in action. You know? Um, good thing if we can start with action and then we can deal with, the, deal with the heart, the mind. Because that takes a little bit more time, of course. But with that being said, everyone have a great day. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. You know? Um, more content on the way, alright? Peace and blessings, y'all. Peace!